Welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday! In the Sketchbook School community, lately people have been inspiring each other with ideas about how to organize your sketchbooks. You do know that you can also become part of this awesome, supportive and global community of creative people, right? When you enroll in one of our courses or one of our workshops, you'll be a member of the community and you get access to the schoolyard, which is our own social platform. But for now, I just want to share a few excellent suggestions and ideas on keeping your sketchbooks organized. Some people prefer to keep one sketchbook at a time, but a lot of people like to keep different sketchbooks for different purposes like sketchbooks dedicated for portrait drawing, sketchbooks for nature journaling, urban sketching sketchbooks, live model drawing sketchbooks, travel sketchbooks, random sketches, watercolor work, tiny sketchbooks for commuting, toned paper sketchbooks, or maybe some more practical choices like a small sketchbook for your handbag or on location, a big sketchbook for mixed media, a medium sketchbook for visual journaling, a super cheap sketchbook with very bad paper for those days that you're feeling a little insecure and you don't want to mess up your good sketchbook pages. When I finish a sketchbook, I always write the date on the back so that I can arrange my sketchbooks chronologically. That's because I love seeing the progress throughout the months and the years. So those are just my two cents to add one more practical tip to all these fantastic suggestions by the Sketchbook School community. To become part of the warm, welcoming and inspiring community in the schoolyard, check out the courses and workshops and enroll at sketchbookschool.com.